This video is in response to two people critiquing one e video each, one on the Emerald Tablets and the other one on Marcus the Servant King, who is a person that I have a specific opinion about and decided to do something about. The Secret of Creation and the Art of Nature, or the Tableau Smaragdina, Smaragdina a 180 to 800 AD Arabian alchemy text was said to be a copied to be copied from a tablet when no evidence of any emerald tablet or tablet of any kind has ever existed or been offered it was simply said to have been from that and left at that and anybody asking otherwise was told I, that's what i was told that's all there was never an attempt before 880 when it was supposed to have been created and obviously 100 B.C. or whatever, when it was really created, we don't know, but the references listed for it, uh, never claimed that there was any proof the tablet existed because it was lost. It was always claimed to be a lost tablet, and it was called the Emerald Tablet as an illusion of some sort, not necessarily to anything, even the color of it. It is now claimed um, to be authored by Atlantis Priest King Toth, 36,000 B.C. The actual author listed as Toth the Great, the Great, the Great, or Thrice Great, or Hermes Trismegnic, I can't pronounce it, but it just means Hermes Thrice Great, which is supposed to be a pseudonym for Toth, as a combination of a Greek god and an Egyptian god, both of which didn't exist. These attributions to this individual existing, or this entity, or this character in a, in a storybook, were first made anywhere from 172 B.C. to 141 A.D. as the earliest times they existed, depending on how literal you want to take it, whether it includes Toth or Hermes or both. The earliest occurrence of it being mentioned being in the minutes of some discussion some people had in a meeting and it being mentioned offhandedly. And the only time it's attributed to being what we now think of as this, or at least what most people say is this, is 141 AD, at the earliest for this individual or being to exist, and 180 to 800 AD as being the earliest times of a claim to have seen a reference to the Emerald Text, and 800 AD as the earliest confirmable occurrence of it that can be confirmed by contemporaries who don't really care about it, but mentioned that they saw the text existing. And again, it was attributed to a lost tablet called something along the lines of Emerald Tablet or something like it. When you see pictures on the internet, including the one that I used for the icon for the video, of it showing a translucent or transparent emerald tablet, first of all, please look up jewelries uh, and, and mineral information. Uh, emeralds don't have to look transparent. That's a chunk if you're not aware of it. That was a uh, art piece created by molding or forming, uh, well, champagne bottles in France, melting them down and making an emerald tablet. That's not what the fucking thing looked like. Emeralds don't look... Let's move on. The claim is that this has to be something to prop up someone's New Age beliefs because reasons. And I should also point out that it was a non-deciphered text at the time and always will be. People would faithfully, hopefully, transcribe it or scribe it in the exact form and shape of all characters as best they could. That means it's going to be lost in translation and people are then going to use it if they think it's important to manipulate things. Because they didn't understand what it was, they said, oh, it must contain the secret of how to turn lead into gold or some other shit. And then when you look at the actual translations or translation for the one thing that was translated or transposed or copied from 800 AD, which is the only one we have, it's not that big of a deal. It's a couple of paragraphs at most. It's not an entire work. Tablets don't contain thousands and thousands of pages of data. That's not what tablets are used for. Claim under my YouTube video. And yeah, I, I said the latest, I only use the the oldest confirmable occurrence of this tablet being mentioned, but it could go back to 180, or maybe if you want to, the, at least the author being mentioned, 172 years before Christ. It's not 36,000 years old. Stop that.
Crystal Links is not history. Selective Arabs greatly welcomed such philosophy and protected. I'm not sure what that refers to. What sources does Waptec have that indicates the Emerald Tablets originated in 800 AD? What I fucking said that you fucking ignored that I'm a little annoyed by, obviously, by saying fuck you, was that's the earliest reference that people made to claim its age. That's the first time anyone has a reference that is confirmable of somebody mentioning the damn things. I am currently in great study on the topic. All right, do you know about the 172 BC to 141 AD reference to the thrice great person who's supposed to have created it being mentioned as a contemporary? Meaning, that's it? Uh, It's a human, right? No, it has to be a god of some kind. I will say that it originated at a much earlier date. By the mere nature of it alone indicates this. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Oh, I'm guessing you're going to make me have to sit there and beg you for your response. You don't like that history doesn't record it being very, very old. It is old. I mean, talking thousands of years old. But it was a written account of something that was lost. And saying it's the work of a god doesn't cut it. Most of everything having been passed down, translated, revised, etc. The important part is the essence that one may utilize only by way of their own self-development. Read, it means what I want it to read because that's what I wish to believe. Okay, that has no merit. And I mean it. It has no merit to anybody else. If you wish to make this into something interesting, you could read the ingredients on the cereal box and derive enlightenment from that. Any random noise can be converted into music if you wish. Egypt is the birthplace of great divinity and shrouded in mystery. But when it's not shrouded in mystery, you people then decide you're going to make up bullshit stories and ignore history. The people of Egypt and their government are tired of people saying that it's where all the aliens came from and that nobody in Egypt is smart enough to build a fucking pyramid. You racist shit. But maybe you're not that kind of person. Anybody claiming that any such information originated in the last 2,000 years is full of it. So you're claiming that some superior level of knowledge that isn't in the text you're talking about couldn't have occurred in the late modern period that we exist in where we can land on the moon, but they dreamt of being able to fly in the sky. By the way, the people who found this claimed that it had occurred, and claimed that it was not that ancient. For them, it was contemporary. Some of the transliterators and translators said that they knew when it was come out, and they said that it was no more than maybe 500 years old. Your claim contradicts the people that you're claiming were right. Toth is an extraterrestrial. Toth didn't even exist, is a claim people make, because he wasn't like a man is today, It's less worthy than the claim that he was real because the wisdom is in such favor. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. Toth is a mythological creature in a religion. In the same way we have fanfic and shit. Let's move on. It's like Christ not being a historical figure. The spirit of Christ is most evidently real. He was a historical figure. I don't know why you said that. And I'm, a, I'm an atheist, and I, don't, I, I state that Christ was probably a historical figure. What's, and the connections not only found within us, also in the stars, cosmos, and the zodiac. Oh, you practice the dark arts. Toth is more than just a man. Toth is probably Christ. And then he says, thank you for your video, and then tells me to go subscribe to someone else's channel because this was actually a spam comment, apparently. So let's review. Toth and Hermes combined together in the thrice great individual that's supposed to have written this is only referenced from, let's say, 200 BC at the earliest. And this work called the Emerald Tablets, which did not have any tablets. It was claimed to be lost tablets and transcribed from them. It never occurred to you that it might have just been a tablet embedded in a wall. 
that's actually the basis for the word tablet sometimes. Um, that claim was only made at the earliest 800 AD. And its attributed authorship is to something that doesn't exist. And the work itself is a set of glyphs that took a long time to translate, and we don't know if it's a correct translation, and it's only one panel. It's not an entire body of work 500 pages long. And Crystal Links is bullshit. And if you want to, you can find the original 800 AD, that's the earliest version of it, in Arabic, and find the panel that shows you the glyphs that they weren't able to decipher, and go ahead and decipher them. There's a couple of different versions, and they vary greatly because nobody kept them straight. And because they couldn't find out what they meant, they decided it must contain all the secrets of the universe. Or it could have been somebody practicing writing in another language, and it could have literally been, and this is one of the interpretations, some child practicing writing. I'm not kidding. It could be literally anything. But no, it has to be a space alien god that is very important because you're a Christian now we get to the next person. <clears throat> I did a video review of a YouTube channel and website that purported to give absolute inerrant information to people. And, of course, claimed to be a Christian or whatever he wanted to believe he was. And also ran a, bit, a place that had a falconry location where he took care of very, very delicate, beautiful, exquisitely beautiful birds of prey. And he also ran a pot farm. And eventually he decided one day or one month for various reasons, maybe ones I can't understand, to kill hundreds and hundreds of falcons and other birds of prey that he was taking care of, that relied on him, that looked to him as their mother, their father, their benefactor. Killed them, buried them in a pile. Totally stable. Genius. And ran a pot farm. And this is a Canadian person. And this individual put up a bunch of videos claiming to have divine inspiration or something else, giving you secret hidden realities and such. And if you criticized him, in some cases, he would go after you, but most of the time, no. And at one time, he put up the transcripts of his videos, and even sometimes the slideshow data, up on the net where you could get it for free, and left the videos up. Then one year, he decided... No, that secret information has to stay secret because that's the whole point of releasing it. Like that's going to do any good. Someone managed to archive most of this, if not all of it. And I made archives that are harder to remove by re-archiving the archives. And I offered them in a video because I was a little upset with this person killing animals when he didn't need to. He didn't. And just, I, I, that's my assertion. And selling marijuana and claiming to have the moral high ground and a bunch of things, and claiming to produce inerrant information of secret hidden data. Surely a workman is worthy of his hire. The man has put in his hours. Does he not have a family to feed and a roof to keep over his head? If you can put out put the inform out, information out for free, even better. But is it wrong to ask for something for your time and efforts? Should I ask? Then the guy quotes Timothy, scripture, Thou shalt not muzzle the ox that treadeth on the corn, and the laborer is worthy of his reward. Whilst I personally wouldn't ask for money, and believe the scripture above can be interpreted in both physical and spiritual reward, the fact he has asked for money, and the fact that he has material might not be 100% accurate, doesn't denigrate the material contained within that is on point. Counterpoint. He made a claim to be an errant. He was not. He did not take well to being having it pointed out. He did not correct his behavior. But okay. No one is 100% correct all the time. Anyone who claims to be 100% correct all the time is a liar. No. They can simply be a fool. You can make an error about whether you make errors. The question is whether the inaccuracies are innocent or deliberate. No. The question is whether or not he produced information that was accurate, wholly inaccurate, or wholly accurate. That is for everyone else to decide. I've simply taken away the difficulty in finding out. He eventually hid the information and erased it and then brought it back when that didn't work. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. I don't have to agree with your opinions. Thank you for expressing them. And thank you for critiquing my videos.